morning um, I'm hoping everyone is good this morning I already am at work I saw a few patients already um, I woke up early I did some yoga lots of sun salutations lots of stretching and I'm at work um, I'm about to go up to a nursing home though it's one of my favorite things to do I have some funny 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 patients up there um, yeah to meet and to talk with all the all the people the dementia patients it's so nice it's one of the most rewarding parts of what I do so I don't know journey with me up there so now we're we're at the nursing home I don't know what them put this out here so far I must say I don't know they're saying people shouldn't pass this point I'm assuming nurse gray Good morning. I'm here. How are you? All right. Mister, don't lock me out. You don't, you don't lock me out. The door still open. Come, come, Mister. Go on now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, bro. Come, Mister. Go on now. Move one. Move one over here, Mister. Right. Show again, Mister. <laughs> mm -hmm. I tell you no, know, in time start show six a problem. Um, move a four now, count four, count four, when I blew one, count four. Alright, so I'm just finishing up at the nursing home, lots of fun. Um, was playing some board games with some other residents, you know, it helps with my new cognitive assessment. A lot of them have dementia, a lot of them had stroke, so... You know, just playing board games with them gives me an idea of how their brain is functioning. Okay, so this is my 41-year-old patient with recurring pityriasis rosea. Um, it's healing now. It's not so visible as before. Hope you can get a chance to see it. There's no real treatment, just to maybe moisturize the skin and to treat the itchiness. But it results on its own. Because I showed you that rash earlier, pityriasis rosea, I just wanted to give you an idea of what an earlier stage of that rash may look like. It's flat group of rashes, usually on the trunk, but can be anywhere on the body. Just flat rashes. Symptoms are usually, you know, itchiness, but sometimes before the rash starts, you can have a, what we call a prodromal phase before the rash, you would have like a sore throat, pharyngitis, and a general feeling of weakness. Sometimes you can have one rash coming up first, just a big flat rash, and then small ones coming up right after. Um, we don't really know the cause of pityriasis rosea, Sometimes we may check for herpes viruses. Sometimes some doctors may biopsy for fungal infections. But if it is truly pityriasis rosea, the cause is unknown. Usually it resolves on its own, lasts four to six weeks. But in some cases, may last up to months. We just treat it with, with creams to help with the itchiness and maybe some DPH or Benadryl, just to keep you comfortable until it goes away on its own. What one of the rashes may look like, because you know it's a group of rashes that you have in pityriasis rosea, but this may be how one single one of those rashes may look. Wanted to give you an idea of what the rashes may look like on dark skin tones, and that's another example of what it may look like. Well guys, it's the end of the day. I'm about to go home. Um, just wanted to say if anybody has a rash or anybody has a friend or a family member who has a rash, please don't self-diagnose. Please don't Google and put all sorts of different creams on it, you know, to potentially worsen the disease process or create other problems. Please see a dermatologist or even a general practitioner. See somebody. Um, we have a lovely dermatologist here. I love her. Her name is Dr. Muir Green. Um, you can make an appointment with her or you can 
just see her through telemedicine. We do have a telemedicine platform. Um, right, so remember to like, subscribe, and share our videos. And until next time, peace.